Hello to my Leos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your happy March 1st video. The video, the, the moon is in a waning gibbous moon in Scorpio currently on March 1st and then it'll move into Sagittarius. You have the questions for the moon in Scorpio and you also have the questions for the moon in Sagittarius for those of you all who like the questions. Let's get into it and see how you're marching in March in the uh, marching forward, right? Your stride, you're walking into your next set of blessings, right? So first, the number one, the number one is very powerful. So it needs you to stay away from any energies that are boastful, aggressive, cynical, egotistical. They can even turn to bullying to create a false sense of power. They have their repressed feelings can turn to anger and they're unwilling to join forces with others or cooperate with people easily preferring their way of the highway. So it needs you to stay away from those types of energies because those types of energies, Leos, cannot stand on their own. They cannot stand on their own. They always got to be in this, this type of aligning themselves with people who have that same kind of repressed emotions, right? And specifically when the moon is in Scorpio, because Scorpio moon often brings the suppressed emotions and feelings such as rage to the surface from those deep undercurrents of the soul, right? Um, and um, and so you need to say, you need to be able to watch those types of energies, right? You also watch it in yourself and look at yourself and say, when I think about certain people, places and things, do I get that angry and that upset? That's what I need to bring to the surface and flush out. That's what I need to flush out. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart, even if you are on the cusp. Even if you are a cusper, I am talking to you, Leos. All right. So here we have the chariot card. Source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road, right? I see, you know, Source is saying rewarding you for not having negative feelings about things. When you have at that crossroad, I choose dark or light feelings about things. This is the I feel sign. Somebody could have cancer somewhere in their birth chart. Then I'm not, I don't have those feelings of rage and anger when I think about them. I'd rather put those feelings towards how can I use eight hours in a day? How can I make money, you know, eight out, you know, out of those, those hours in a day and somebody you could have either been married to or thought about being married to Leo or, you know, uh, married in business and or in love. Somebody's like, mm -mm, I need to move forward here. We have the ace of pentacles as well, right? So you're moving towards financial independence. And so when you take the high road and say, okay, when I have a negative feeling about something, if I'm trying to choose ne the high or low feelings about something, this is the, I feel sign. I'm going to choose the high. I'm going to find a silver lining in something and I'm going to say, okay, let's say it's a sibling. You know what? You know what? We may have had some good times when we were younger, but we're right where we are right now. We're just in a different, we're on a different frequency. So that's okay. I need to move on from that so I can focus on such and such, right? That's how source will reward you. So here we have the eight of swords. You know, because it's self-sabotaging. What some people don't realize is that you got eight hours here. You're talking eight hours about them and frustrated. Like somebody may have spent a lot of, uh, a third of your day. We got 20, if we we're measuring time, 24 hours in a day. If you're spending eight hours talking about them, you could have been spending that same time coming up with ideas of how you can make more money. Right. So source is saying it really is what you choose to focus on. So I definitely see you looking back at how much you used to talk about certain people, places and things and how you could have been making money during that time. And that's where your breakthrough comes in. It felt like a breakdown, a breakdown. You felt like you could have been having a breakdown, but actually you having a breakthrough. And that's what source is rewarding you for. So here we have the page of source. So whatever anxiety, the less you talk about people, places and things that you feel like um, they said or you said something to sabotage a relationship where your head and heart could have been at war with each other, the more time you have, time slash money, to move towards financial independence. And that's what somebody is learning. That is what somebody is learning. It's like, you know what? I need to focus on no longer cutting you know, my, my money in half, you know, my time slash money in half. And I need to start focusing on my brain power, your power and your intellect moving forward to focus on, you know, investing in myself, right? Investing in myself. So I definitely see somebody on their throne and saying, if I don't have anything negative, to, I mean, if I don't have anything positive to say about helping people to adjust their crown, I need to move on from that. Here we have, because that's been overwhelming for somebody. La Luna. 
right? So the full moon that we had in Virgo allows somebody to meticulously see how much time you were giving in your thought and in your conversation about energies, you may have felt hurt you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And so Source is saying to you, um, you know, Source is saying to you, you're starting to learn that you don't have to be in battle with yourself. You don't have to warm up to an idea of trying to show people that you have a good heart when you are just being a good hearted person, right? So I feel like somebody is saying, if I can't find the commonality in people, and if, and if it's that much of a struggle in my spirit, you know, with somebody, I got to look at myself and see what am I, who am I connected to? Why do I give it so much power to talk about certain things, right? And um, so here we have, like I said, the five of wands here, because it's been giving somebody a nightmare. It's been giving somebody a nightmare instead of giving you financial freedom and financial independence, Right. And so when you start thinking of it differently, like changing your your thought process towards I got to warm up to this and I got to show people that I'm a warm spirited person. So it's like you really don't have to show people that you're a kind person. You don't have to show people that you're a good person. Everybody has their definition of good and bad. So it's just trying to teach you to bring all of those feelings of anger and frustration about people, places and things to the surface so that you can flush all that out so that you don't miss anything in the future. So you're going to feel very fortunate to have left two types of energies behind. Two types of energies, right? And so some of those energies are in your family, like a family way of thinking. That's why on this particular card, it's like every time you try to come out and show people how smart you are and how intellectual you are, they had their own idea of what intellect and smarts were and i'm gonna give somebody an example like when we talk about water here you got water here twice right you could be a, a very artistic person you could have been like you know what when i grow up when i want to you know between the ages of 8 and 14 which is when your sacral chakra is being developed when i grow up i want to um i i want to be a dancer i want to be a singer you know i want to be an artist in some way shape from a fashion but if your family has an idea that that's not, they don't believe in that kind of stuff, like their belief systems could be totally different than yours. Um, they could say, oh, no, no, that's not going to make you any money. And that's not going to bring honor to the family. Like, like you got to remember, this is the year of wealth, but you're gaining wealth and knowledge about things and how to break generational cycles, chains and curses to create your own legacy. Right. And that's going to be really important, too. And like how who you align yourself with and who you're building legacy with as well. And so source is saying to you, you don't have to keep proving to people that you have a good heart, Leo. You know, I know I speak very highly of Leo's on my channel, and that may even upset some people that I speak very highly of Leo because I, I see the value in every zodiac sign. So Source is saying, you don't have anything to prove by anybody else's standards. All you need to do is just be your highest self, right? You are, we know that the sun, you're ruled by the sun, is ruled, is, it illuminates the moon. So it also illuminates your feelings about yourself and how, where you came from. It looks like every time somebody tried to come out of their crab or tortoise shell and their family, something could have been overwhelming because they didn't believe in themselves and somebody projected that onto them. So they didn't believe in you. So obviously looking at you, this is, you feel very fortunate to have this, this, to be a Leo, to have that fight in you, Leo, to say, Hey, you know what? I'll show them. So that where that could be where somebody is saying I'm determined to be financially independent. I'm not going to I'm not going to depend on, you know, their um I'm not going to depend on what they believe success is. I'm going to be successful in my artistry, right? And so but you got to also know when to turn that off around people around you that look at you like you landed on the dark side of the number one. People who are boastful, aggressive, cynical, egotistical, that can even turn to bullying others to create a false sense of power because you've been having to prove yourself for so long. Okay, let's march forward. March 1st. Happy March 1st, right? So that's what I'm saying for you all. So as you're on your throne, helping other people to adjust their crown, that's why I keep trying to tell you all, Leos, y'all are very powerful. You all are ruled by the sun. And so just in that power alone, 
Could you imagine being caring, optimistic, a natural leader, kind and protective, uh, a person who is passionate, someone who is generous, someone who is cheerful and humorous and, and, and creative, right? inspiring other people to come out of their shell too because they may have come from the same kind of family or at least one side of the family right some somewhere they may not feel comfortable coming out of their shell and if you're blow torching them it's my way or the highway they're like okay i gotta go back in my shell just like i did in my own family it's counterproductive right so you gotta know when to say okay i believe in myself and i believe that other people are operating in their purpose too and so i don't so source sent me across their path that showed them that they can do it too, but I'm not going to over give to a point where I'm going to fall on my own sword. I'm going to say something that's going to sabotage a form of self-sabotage. So I definitely see you moving forward. That's how somebody's going to move into financial independence because now people want to be around you. And so in those spaces, I see people sharing more information with you and how to start businesses, you know, that in those artistic spaces. Here we also have the devil card, right? But to stay in situations where you come across, this is the mother of the Zodiac and this is the father of the Zodiac. And you come across as being, um, you come across as being, um, um, like you have to re-raise a, a human, like you have to, you have to be the mother and father to an adult that can be, um, that can be very hurtful and very painful, you know, to people, especially if you're raising one, well, okay, my parents raised me this way and I don't believe in how their parents raised them. That can come across as competitive and it can be very hurtful. So source is saying, looking at your own family, you're looking at, the the you're grateful for your journey uh leo's and just kind of how people may not have believed in you and your family and your art and you're saying hey when it's time for me to choose the high or low road i'm choosing the high road i'm choosing the high road and i feel very fortunate to be a leo because that fire in me that i can do spirit is going to show people and that's how you're going to inspire people so you have also high priestess energy too so you have those gifts of that foresight, that foreknowledge. So I see somebody taking a leap of faith, faith moving fast. And this right here, quick progression of things. When you get away from the self-sabotage saying and doing things that could make people look at you differently in a hurtful way, like what in the world did I say or do to hurt Leo for them to come out of me like that? And you could be thinking about something triggered you from your own family. Oh, they don't believe I have a good heart. I'm going to show them that I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a whatever. So, um, I do see somebody moving on from that and you sitting on your throne. I see you as being down to earth, very relatable, right? So source of saying, stay away from the cut, you know, like the self-sabotage, stay away from energies that you feel like could cause you to have a nightmare and cause you to be seen as a nightmare. Stay away from those energies, right? And here we have the two of pentacles. So I see another stream of income coming across your path. Like I said, I see some, y'all see somebody getting married. Um, I see somebody getting married. And so keep that in mind. Source is trying to increase your money, not trying to decrease it. Only the person that could decrease it is you, right? So yeah, they, like I said, you don't want to come across as a nightmare, and so once you recognize that, hey, I could come across as a nightmare to other people and you see, they feel like that anxiety or people are starting to look at you like, oh God, here we go with this Leo, right? That kind of situation. You know what? Let me quietly exit your life. Definitely not trying to, trying to make up for whatever other Leo they may have encountered. So let me move on. You're not running from anything. You're protecting yourself. You're not stepping down. Like I said, you're adjusting your, your, um, you're adjusting your crown remaining down to earth relatable and so you don't have to overthink it yep when you are highly spiritually gifted you are you can already see in advance you're not going to stay into it it becomes a karmic situation seven of pentacles so somebody is definitely creating a new um i, I see you and your person moving forward as both being financially independent you know, so they're not coming to you with a goal in mind to get money from you or to steal your time or money. So, yeah, happy March 1st. So here we have the hangman. So source is saying hang in there with yourselves. There's a light and dark side to all energy. The hangman is connected us to Neptune. Right. And so Neptune is the planet of imagination and transcendence. Right. 
So if you if you feel like it would have, if you feel like when you think about in the past, that would have been a demonic bond. Some people could have been married in business and or in love and say, you know what, that would have been a demonic bond because I would have had to keep, and this is not calling them a demon, Leos. I would have had to keep proving that I'm a good hearted person. And, and it, and I would have eventually said something that would have sabotaged myself. I would have said something or they would have said something. It just would have been counterproductive, right? So you got to know when you entering into a karmic situation versus a twin situation, right? And so that karmic situation is just, that's why I tell people, Hey, look, while you're, you know, you're conversing with people, listen intently, let and them listening to you intently. If you feel like they would be a nightmare to you or vice versa, do yourself a favor, push back from the table and move on with your life. So, and move on. So yeah, so here we have the four of swords. Um, and so I definitely see somebody letting something rest in peace and moving forward, letting something rest in peace and moving forward. Again, you're marching forward to the light side of the number one. That's right. The light side of the number one. Yeah. Yeah. Light side of the number one, people are self-sufficient, they're self-reliant, they have a good desire to be in love and be loved by their partner. Um, um, they are, they are, they are, they have a penetrating sense of direction, like they just know where they're going in life, right? And so you want to be on the light side of the number one, not the dark side. I got to talk to 50, 11 people about how somebody was raised in such and such and such and such, when the truth is, is that looking at this card right here, when you try to share your creativity with your own family, you felt like, you know, embarrassed or ashamed or something. Oh, that's not, that's not bringing honor to the family. You got to go to school and get, you know, if you're not at a doctorate level of degrees, then, or you're not associated with certain types of people, you're not a success. And so that may have driven somebody to say, you know what? I am smart. You all are incredibly smart, Leo's. You're incredibly smart. So somebody apologizes for betraying you. Whoever that first person, first person in your family bet apologizes for betraying you because they had toxic masculinity traits, toxic masculinity traits. So just their whole belief system was not balanced out. Divine masculine, divine feminine. I'm talking to men and women Leo's and it could have been a toxic masculine woman or a toxic masculine man, right? Just always having to land on that dark side of the number one, right? It's my way or the highway. You got to do it. Boom, 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 boom. So, um, um, you could have, you could have also been connected to an energy that is succubus energy, you know, as well. Um, Somebody in your family could have stuck succubus energy, but they always wanted to be the star of the show, you know, in your family. So since that, this particular, La Luna, this particular moon card came out, we're talking about a family in particular, which uh, something was developed between the ages of um, eight and 14 years old. So, but much better lies ahead, much better lies ahead, much better lies ahead. But somebody apologizes for betraying you. Um, and um, you have to create the change that you want. So as you continue to march forward on the light side of the number one, March 1st, you are creating um, spaces where your power and your intellect are actually appreciated and they're actually celebrated. But you're also helping other people to adjust their crown as well. You're helping other people to adjust their crown as well. I feel like, you know, looking at your cards, Leos, that a lot of you all who are tuned in are going to really change the game for just how people see Leos. And it's not like you're the Leo representative, right? But I, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people to start to see Leos the way I see Leos and the way that other people see, the people who see you at the highest frequency. I feel like this is the year for you to say, okay, I am a high vibrating Leo. I can balance it out. I know what divine feminine and divine masculine energy looks like, but I can also recognize toxic masculinity a toxic feminine. I can recognize toxic and which would be toxic for you. It may not be toxic for them, but it could be toxic for you. I see you protecting yourselves, right? Here we have 27. I am expressive. 
Your mind is wide open, Leo, and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, and or world at large, right? So that's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody, the uh, two and seven obviously is nine. It, it ends the single digits. I see you saying your clairvoyance and also your psychic abilities have increased because you have this foreknowledge now of like, if of uh, being able to see how other people were raised and how you were raised, it's not a versus you're seeing it in common and saying, I see what we have in common, but uh, weighing the pros and cons, the cons I weigh the pros just in talking to how you think and how other people think and how you process, how they process, I can already see that it's not going to work. So before I say something, or allow them to say something that's going to sabotage a situation, you or them to sabotage a situation, I can already move on from that. I can go ahead and leave that behind. I don't, I, so that you don't appear as landing on the dark side of the number one, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Um, so yeah, I see you marching forward and not going backwards to those types of energies, you know, those types of energies that you feel like, okay, I feel like two fish tied together, swimming in opposite direction to a point of escaping reality about things. So here we have relationships, affirmation for relationships. I am surrounded by healthy, happy, peaceful people. I attract healthy relationships. I speak my truth. I listen to understand another's truth. I am grateful for the genuine love in my life. I am supported by those who reveal my best qualities. I give love and receive love. I release attachment to all against my highest good. See, the, um, the, the types of Leos that I know are Leos who are very supportive of their loved ones. They, they, the whole world doesn't revolve around them. And I'm speaking of particular types of Leos that I personally know. And so that's why it's another reason. It's again about positioning yourself around people who are operating at their highest self so that you're not in that bracket, Leo, of people who say, oh, I, I can't stand Leos because Leos are such and such. Obviously, some of those Leos exist, the ones that are arrogant, inflexible, lazy, dogmatic, and prideful, jealous, always see everybody as competition. But that doesn't have to be you, right? And so all it takes is people to come across your path that say they've had some really good experiences with Leos and like, okay, what this Leo is different. Like what, what's going on with this Leo? Oh, they must be. And it's not even people making, a, uh, making excuses for you all, Leo. People can automatically tell who you connected to. They can automatically tell who you're connected. You don't even have to say it, but since you're in conversation saying it, they also are listening intently too. like, Oh, okay. It makes sense. Cause that's not the type of Leo that I know, but okay. Because they're associated with, okay, I see, I see what this is. So that's what I'm, that's what I have for you all. Happy March 1st. Um, you don't have any questions for this video because this is a bonus video for every Zodiac sign, but keep on vibrating high. Like I said, if it doesn't involve helping adjusting people's crowns, Leo, then you only want a part of the con, you only want to be a part of the conversation. So that's what I'm saying for you. So hang in there, continue letting your star shine bright. You're ruled by the sun. We know the sun is a star. And so source is saying, continue vi um, vibrating high. You were raised, you may have been raised a little differently than somebody, but find the commonalities and recognize, hey, when I weigh the pros and cons, I can go ahead and move on from it. I, 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 can, I can move on from it in love, right? And so this card was at the bottom of the deck, rite of passage. You're just going through a rite of passage. Yep, you're going through a rite of passage here on earth. 34, 3 and 1 is 4, 4 is the earth number. You're going through a rite of passage here on earth. That's what I have for you all, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said before, as you are continuing to adjust your crown um, and, as, and as you continue to move towards financial independence, you and your person, like I said, you all are getting, you, you getting married. If you're not already married to your person, the business and or in love, leave all that other stuff behind all of it. If you don't have anything positive to say about somebody you can't find a silver lining, conversation is over. You're not even in, engaging in the conversation. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you in the next regularly scheduled video. Bye.